Hi, I'm James from the Turner Guitar Studio in Leduke in Morinville and at turnerguitar.com and today I'm going to be showing you uh, the Vox VT20 Plus in the classic look. So you can see this one has their typical diamond grill front. Um, but other than that, it's the same as the VT20 uh, Plus, the regular version. So uh, your ma basic features on this amp are 33 different amp models, so 11 different categories three different versions on each um, and then there's a hundred presets so uh, on each of those versions there's three different uh, presets that go with um, various uh, specific songs and you can see a list of those in the manual you get eight channels you can save uh, everything into um, so two different banks with four um, different channels on each bank then you get um, your gain and volume control on each uh, of these settings as well as your three band EQ a master volume and a power level which actually changes the output wattage of the amp so um, you end up getting way more versatility in terms of volume level without changing your tone so you find whatever tone you want your overdrive will stay the same no matter where this power level knob is, just your volume increases. Any of the other volumes, you'll get a different tone as you uh, turn that up. So, um, so that's a really nice feature, especially for um, playing at really quiet, like bedroom levels. Now, uh, you also get a tuner there, um, which works in conjunction with these, so a full guitar tuner. Um, not a full chromatic, but any note on the guitar. Um, you get uh, a bunch of effects here so you get a dozen on or not a dozen 11 on each of these two channels um, on this channel it's stuff like fuzz metal distortion organic distortion um, you get octaves u vibes auto waz uh, compressors an acoustic simulator and then uh, just a level for that on this channel you get a lot of your um, the modulation effects, so choruses, flangers, phasers, tremolos, rotary speaker emulation, filtrons, delays, echoes, and your depth on that, as well as a tap tempo to change your speed at which um, those uh, effects happen. And then on your third effects channel you just get three different types of reverb, and as you turn it up it goes louder and louder and then it cuts off into the next one and goes louder and louder so you get a room spring and hall reverb on that channel and then you get your headphone output for quiet practice your auxiliary input for playing along with iPods that sort of thing and then there's a foot switch that you can get with it that controls this back panel and I plan on making a separate video uh, when I do I will link it to this video uh, but just how to go about using that uh, foot switch now I'll show you some of the basic sounds this covers. It's definitely not going to be all of them. You could spend hours on end just going through, just experimenting with the different uh, amp settings and different EQs and different combinations of effects, let alone the presets and, um, and all the other combinations you could possibly come up with. Um, so right now I'm running a Vox um, SDC-22 um, electric guitar. Mm. So a double humbucker guitar. And right now I'm just on my bridge position, and that's what I'll stay on for this whole video. Just This will give you an idea of what types of tones. It's not going to be a perfect sound. The amp isn't mic'd especially, but you'll at least get the idea of what uh, each effect does, how those sounds compare to each other, that sort of thing. I'll keep my power level fairly low, just so you can hear my voice over top of the amp when necessary. And we'll just start with your cleans. And then again, you have three different versions. So this one's a lot brighter. And this one's a little more aggressive and darker, though. Still fairly thick. Though, even if you want, you can crank that gain up. You can get a little bit of drive on this amp even on the clean settings. Um, now as we go to like your Cali clean, a little more aggression, 
especially as you go into your other small versions. And then we get into your blues. sounds So this is some UK rock. So just on perfectly clean sound again, we can go to your melody. And it's clean, and you can use the foot switch to activate these with your feet if you get that along with it. Um, Jump in on some 
acoustic stuff in the middle of a heavy song or as an intro or something without actually switching guitars. On your second channel, um, we got um, things like your chorus. <laughs> And this is fully tap tempo controllable as I mentioned. So right now it's a fairly fast phaser, so if I want to go extra slow now. Quite a lot, and then you can also go really fast. So they default to very fast, but you can, uh, or to full volume, I should say, but you can dial those down quite a bit as well uh, with this knob, and then just turn it all the way down to turn off that effect. And then uh, rotor, speaker, emulator. which is adding a higher octave. Filter on. Tape echo. So that's um, a general rundown of those effects, and again, you can combine any three of these effects at the same time if you wanted. Um, you can uh, change, combine those with all those different amp sounds, so pretty much endless possibilities um, when it comes to the amp. The tube modeling is awesome because you actually get a 12AX7 tube preamp in this, so much better tone than most other modeling amps. And then um, the ability to use the manual mode and kind of keep everything the same. So say I want that rotary speaker emulation on. And I want to have you know, my, uh, my treble voice. Right. Um, on most amps, you'd find those settings and then you'd want to switch your main category of sound and everything would disappear. On this one, everything stays the same. here um, as long as I'm in that manual mode with that red light on. And that simplifies things a ton, makes it way easier to dial in on a sound you want, switch around to other sounds once you find kind of the effects you want. <laughs> But yeah, that's what you can do with this, and you can play through all those as long as you stay out of the preset mode. Um, very easy to navigate. And then in preset mode, um, that's where you get your saved effects and your um, 100 presets that they use. And those are awesome if you just want to experiment, but not great if you want to dial in your own tone and keep it. So hopefully that helps. Um, 
If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You can find all our contact info at turnerguitar.com. Uh, you can come visit us in store if you're in the area in either Leduc or in Morinville, Alberta. And then, um, yeah, we always have lots of these amps in stock. And they do make uh, various sizes. So this is the 20 watt, there's a 40 watt, an 80 watt, and 120 watt uh, versions available, all with bigger speakers. So, um, tons of stuff in the range, definitely worth every penny um, if you want something that's going to do all the different stuff. If you have a specific sound in mind, probably not the best amp because a dedicated amp will do more for that sound. But um, if you want to try effects, if you want to try um, a bunch of different types of distortions and different types of amp tones, yeah, you're not going to beat some, or this amp uh, for this kind of money. So uh, definitely check it out and uh, hope you found this helpful. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.